Uh, hi everyone, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare this detail. So it's a metal 3D, uh, metal deck path 3D section elevation, that's how I call it. So it's made up of uh, a metal deck, universal beams, and also a mesh, BRC mesh. So I'm going to take you guys through how to make this. So let's start off. Yeah, so I'm going to open a new drawing. So I'll go to new. New again. I'm going to use uh, the metric template. So we're going to do this uh, metal deck. Let me open it. So this one is 55 slash 140, 148. So Let's go ahead and prepare that. I'm going to switch off uh, the XY and do the isometric drawing. So I'm just going to do a line. Copy it uh, to a height of 55. Uh, do another line. Copy it. One four eight. That's the centers of the ribs, and uh, copy the same. Uh, thirty-seven, thirty-seven. And just copy this against this point here, and uh, do the same for that one. Shift right click, you get that option. So let me copy that one from there to there and do a diagonal for the ref left hand, so right hand side. So I'm gonna do the same for this one and I'm going to copy it. Sorry, I'm going to use this vertices to get those points so let me shift right click trim that one copy from there to there and trim there and there so i don't need this and i can do away those so I'm going to do one millimeter thick and I'm going to offset it that way. I'm going to fill it this with the radius of zero, but I'm going to do multiple. So fill it that one, fill it. All this, I clean all these edges. Yeah. And um, I'm just going to do a copy about this point here and uh, copy it uh, there i'm gonna delete this bottom line because i need to clean off this area here yeah and finally i'm going to do the line to pronounce the troughs so that's the upper line. Copy it. There, there, and there. There, there. Yes, and uh, there. So the first one obviously is going to sit directly on the beam. So let me just do this and trim this too yes and delete this so um, um, I'm having that one as this starting and I can also trim this because I don't see this line okay so I'm going to copy all this with that and that so copy that one, first point, 
go. There. There. And there. I'm going to repeat the same process again for the same one so that I move faster. For these ones and uh, this one there. So, copy and um, there, there, and there. I think that's pretty much that way. So, I can do my. I can now do my BRC mesh, so let me do my BRC mesh now. So one thing about isometric drawings, let me just draw this, uh, sorry, let me draw this cube to show you what I mean when I'll be switching between the planes. So. See for close, so let me just copy this to about there, so and complete my cube. So that is it. So note that uh, the the crosshairs for my mm -hmm. my crosshairs are uh, is like they are facing this top side of the cube. When I press F five. It's now on the left, right hand side. And when I press F5 again, it's now on the left. So F5 again on the top, right, left. So that's how I'm going to use this. So um, I'll do an ellipse. And then I, sorry, ellipse. And then isocircle. And then I'm going to do of uh, radius of let's say three yeah i'm going to do my lines you have to turn your quadrant oh snap for you to see those uh, lines for those uh, for this quadrant so copy copy yes that point Okay, so I'm going to shift now to my left, to my right hand by pressing F5, doing an ellipse and doing an isocircle with a radius of 3 as well. So move it, I'm going to do a space of, a spacing of 200 and the spacing of 200 on this side so that I have my I'm going to repeat that remember you have to do out the quadrant which is that point take off your line to there and uh, copy this point to the other quadrant here you can see so I'm going to do a uh, fill it here so that these lines don't cross this because this doesn't appear as a 3d object so let me just push this a little bit back about 1.25 yeah oops it's a bit off here so let me just undo that move it to here copy it once sorry move it not copy move it 1.25 okay now I'll trim right click so that I don't have to select an edge and then I'll do that okay so 
sorry the last one yes and I'll do that so that I don't have to so that it now looks like uh, they're intertwined at this point like they are welded together at this point okay yeah so um, I'm going to copy this at a spacing of 200 so copy that to 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000. Okay. And I'm going to also sorry, let me just undo that. I'm going to copy this again. Pressing off 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000. Okay, and uh, let me just trim this off for all of these. Let me just trim them off and um, yes have that so i'm going again to copy this first of all delete this one and copy it once more to this other side 200 sorry let me Let me just copy this. 200. Yeah. And uh, trim this off again so that it uh, cleans this edge off in a, in a neat manner. So that is that. And uh, that is that. So. Let me just copy this to Okay, so I'll do I'll do this again. So select that one. Yeah. And then copy it just pressing off 200 400 600 800 1000 and uh, 1200 okay so I have my mesh I have my deck so you have to create my concrete deck now so let me just do a stretch for these ones because they're too long okay so that is that so let me do um just arrest these ones because I don't really need them okay so I'm going to do a new layer of uh, let me call it mesh comma um, and then deck 
let me give off, let me give this one back blue and then uh, mesh I gave it yeah great yeah so for easier working with this let me just shift let me just group this let me just put off the selection first and give it as a mesh okay and then turn on the selection again so i'm going to move it at the intersection of these two circles Okay, and I'm going to move it here. So I'm going to do a concrete deck of uh, 125. So let me do a line of 125. Copy these two lines to be the top now of the concrete deck. Okay. So I do a line here, I extend to there, I move this mesh at least 25 cover on either side, okay, 25, yeah, and then I just move it a hundred mm up so that it leaves a 25 mm cover from the top of the slab okay so a hundred okay now the remaining thing now is to create a bite I'll call it a bite in quotes because it's not really an actual bite so let me do an ellipse and uh, isocircle and then let me change my plane to top so f5 to there and do my iso circle 1200 no 1100 okay sorry no let me just do Let me just repeat that ellipse, iso circle, and then twelve hundred. Okay, so trim this, then there. Okay, so this is the radius which I'm going to pretty much use. So I'm going to use a revision cloud. Um, so revision cloud and I'm going to check the act for this revision cloud and I'm going to do um, an act of uh, 100 yeah and the maximum one over 300 at least three times that one and I choose this object here Okay, and they say no. So this is our bytes in quotes. So let me copy that to 125. Yeah. And 25. Okay, so let me join this from there to here okay and uh, from here to here okay so I'm just going to use this edge and trim this off because I now don't really need all this to be honest so let me just trim them off like these ones which are far off let me just delete them 
because you now have that edge trim this one yeah and now I use use this let me call this deck okay so that we isolate these two this and this and then I start the trimming process again so I trim this off that one that one that one yeah so I'm just creating like the place where all these now intersects okay where the mesh now disappears into the concrete that's what I mean let me undo that okay so let me just delete that delete all these now so because I don't really need them our ready done with them okay so let me trim this one as well these edges I also don't really need them also just to give me to pronounce rather where the mesh was disappearing into the concrete okay so that is that and i've done i'm done with that so let me just march this and delete those arcs okay so the other thing now is i need to delete these ones because I don't see those I also don't see this yeah and also trim these ones against that that one Uh, in essence I'm just trimming what's above the other and also what I'm not seeing so that's why I'm trimming all this so that our drawing now looks like a good 3d okay so that is that and uh, Yes, I can also delete that one, but copy this one here. Okay, but this one stops here. Okay, yes, so. I'm not going to do my U beam. And I'm going to use a 203 by 203. So the 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 breadth for 203 is 203 point 6. I'm going to copy it. The depth is 203 point two I'm gonna copy there 
the flange is 11 let me just copy it 11 do the same for this one and then the web the web is a uh, 7.2 so 3600 3.6 sorry on either side okay yeah so I'm going to do this uh, this side and I'm also going to do this, do this other side okay I'm gonna trim that one trim all this yeah so this is the section of the i-beam so I'm going to if you want a bit uh, a section which, which is a bit more sophisticated you can go ahead and add the radiuses that are normally here which for the 203 by 203 by 46 kg uh, universal beam the radius is normally 12.7 so yeah i think i can i think you can just do that one so um so let me do an ellipse isocircle change the plane and then do a radius of uh, 12.7 move it to this side 12.7 as well and uh, 12.7 again so that uh, we can also copy this on this other side so that we so this will be 25.4 and then we copy it from this point to this point yes and we can also do the same for the bottom side so 25.4 and we now move it to this portion here all that's left now is to trim so trim those edges uh, trim those edges yes and you have your eye beam so i'm going to do a straight line so we have uh, the full beam now so that one all this you just outline the edges which are present in the beam so all this you trim which you don't see you trim what you don't see so all this we shall have to go okay so we move this to this point here yeah and there you have your beam so Yeah, you can either use this or this, but uh, I've just done the two for you, so you can just choose by yourself and see which one is best for you to adopt. So I shall have to copy this one. At a uh, probably your beams are now spaced at uh, let's say fifteen hundred mm cc. So center to center. So that's there about so i can just trim this one and just use that edge as my trimming edge and uh, trim all this yes so the beam are spaced at that spacing so i can copy that line along there and uh yeah let me just do 1800 and do the same for 
this one, 1800, okay, and uh, I think I shall move it a bit, about 200, and extend it to this point. Okay, so all these lines, I now no longer need them. So let me just trim them off. Okay. Okay, so that is it and that is your detail now so I'm just going to clean off these areas areas like these where I just need to trim off those these ones okay mm, I need to trim all this yeah I need to trim all all of these so it's quite a tedious process at this point because I all these small small lines have to be have to be trimmed so that it really now looks like a 3D drawing. So I shall do row by row. So one, two, three, four, five rows. So let me just go ahead and quickly on them. So I just don't do that and just go try and do it a bit quicker. So you can do this for this uh, for this all these rows, all these rows, yeah can do the same for all that and for this particular point I'll have to trim that and then delete this one because you're not seeing that edge this um, wire mesh is uh, preventing us to see this uh, edge for the trough below okay so that is that and uh, we shall have to trim all this so I'm going to pause and then I'm, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back Yeah, so I've already uh, made the trims for those uh, for these mesh lines. So the thing that I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to hatch this uh, mesh so that uh, I distinct them from uh, these other lines. So I'm going to make an isolate for these ones. But as you can see, these are uh, these some gap that we left here. So think that sh that was a mistake from our part on our part so we're just gonna extend them to the place where they ought to reach okay should have not I should have not uh, there should not have been this error but uh, what do we do we just correct it yeah. Okay, so do this for every, I'll do this for every uh, joint here, so that the, the fillet, rather the hatch, will be a smooth, um, will just fit in. Or we'll just hatch correctly with no gaps okay so let me do the hatch so
Mm. Some of these hatches may be a bit stubborn, so let me just hatch this uh, once more and then come back. So normally the best way to do this is just to do some triangles um, or just to rather just break the extents to where the span reaches, so the hatch reaches, sorry, so when you do that um, you find the hatches now comply. So let me just do this and I'll come back in a few. Yeah, so I've managed to hatch the uh, the, the BRC mesh, so I'm just going to select this one, um, select similar, and uh, change that to dots. I'm going to do dots because I think dots is much better, and I do a uh, probably a scale of three, so that I think suits my purpose. Select similar, I can add this to five. Yes, and I can change that to six or even 5.5 .5. yeah so let me just turn on the other leaves so like similar I can actually do the angles so that the mesh looks like a ribbed bar okay yes and I do I do this or I just do this no the angles are much better so that it looks like a ribber okay It looks as if they are ribbed. That's what I, I'm trying to mean. Okay. So the only exercise here is to add in the screws. So again, change the plane to top. Do an ellipse. And um, sorry, ellipse, isocircle. And then I do a radius of about um, 10. And a thickness of about 2.5. Okay, I can do this at about uh, 0.5 so that it's 3. So I just um, pull up those edges. Sorry, pull down those trim this against that one, that against that, and uh, move that one above the bottom circle, and I take it to here. Uh, I think this one is a bit bigger, so let me just delete this one and do that again a lip size a circle and then I do five and then I do three as previous so well, that is that and that is that I trim these two about these edges And I move them uh, to about 
30. Yeah, 30 is fine. So I copy this. I shall be skipping one bay, so that point that point that point and then that point so this one here I trim that one And I'll take it to that. So So those are your screws and uh, we can start annotating this. So we go to annotate, we go to multi-leader, multi-leader, and uh, let us just put the zero to be the default layer feature so um, let me go back to multi-leader so I'll call this metal deck screws Okay, and I'll enhance this to a scale of 10. Okay, so that is that, and uh, I'll call this other one 100, sorry, 55 slash 148. I'll use this as unstack and uh, Pre and call it pre galvanized metal deck. GI. Sorry, let me just unstack this. Match this one. And then uh, do the same for the BRC mesh. So A ninety eight BRC mesh. Okay, and. Uh, this one now is the concrete decking, so 125 mm concrete And then now I'm going to finish off with this one. So, universal beam 203 by, let me just use the small x203 by 46 kg per meter primary member okay I'm going to match the same scale as these ones I'm going to add a leader to this one Let me just undo that one and stretch this onto here and add a leader now. OK. 
okay so that's your detail and uh, not all back screws universal beam yes that's about it so the only thing that you have you're left with is now to do the title which I'll do at a height of 50 rotation is zero and I'm going to underline percent percent you I'm going to underline the text so we do cups metal deck part 3d sectional elevation I'm going to do another text which is 25 and this rotation is zero so scale of one is to ten I'm going to justify I'm going to center this and I'm going to move it at this insertion point and then move it below it okay so there you go guys this is your, your detail yes and uh, yeah that's we are, we, are, we are pretty much done so share this with your friends we can also do a oh we haven't added the brake lines so let's go to express tools size we're going to use a hundred is fine so that point and that point yes and that point with that point so I'm gonna stretch this one I'm gonna stretch this one by 50 this one by 50 stretch this one by 50 stretch this one by 50 I'm going to delete these lines here okay so this is your uh, detail that you've finished so go share this with your friends share this information if you see it uh, useful yeah and uh, we'll see you in the next video it's out.